One of the interesting features for setting up schedules is sign-up sheets, and the club scheduler does allow for sign-up sheets. If you click on prepare sign-up sheets, you get a brief description as to what it means. They're basically not the same as scheduled, they're simply requests and not actual assignments. So here we have the uh, July 27th meeting, and we don't have anything, any requests right now. But let's say member, member five wants to be a uh, chairman, and somebody wants to speak that evening. Maybe somebody wants their competent leadership um, role uh, as an evaluator. So as you can see, we've got chairman five, chairman of number five. Let's just remember that one. Now when we generate new assignments for the July the 27th, it will automatically put those members in. Now here, here's an interesting one. Member 13 is requested as the role of an evaluator, but does not appear to be qualified to be a candidate on this date. Either she's become an evaluator too recently, or perhaps she's done it too recently. Either way, you can say whether you're going to accept it or reject it. Well, let's just say yes for now. So you can see member number five requested the assignment. Member number 19 requested the assignment. Member number 13 requested the assignment. Makes it very easy to set up sign up sheets ahead of time. So, what if I created another one? Let's see, we'll do another one on, let's say, member number five wants to be chairman again. generate new assignments. It's going to say the role of chairman has been requested. So it's basically the same message. In this case, we know that the chairman has been, uh, he's been a chairman too recently. So we're going to say no. It will automatically fill in a new member. Let's see if we try to manually set it for number five. You'll see that using the smart lists, he's not available. Turning off the smart list, you can see that one meeting ago, he was a chairman. And you'll see the error message. This member has already been assigned another role. Oh, okay, well, let's, uh, let's remove him from this role. There's another conflict. This member has filled this role too recently. Basically, if you see red, you know there's something funky happening. That doesn't mean you can't do it. You can still force uh, a member to be in a particular role. It just warns you. You'll notice here that the Sergeant at Arms is not filled in. I've set the Sergeant at Arms to be a manual assignment. Why is that? In our club, the sergeant at arms is always the same person every single week. If I didn't set it for a manual assignment, it would put somebody in here every week and it wouldn't be the same individual. And it would also prevent that person from taking on any other role because he would be assigned the role of sergeant at arms. All in all, setting up schedules for the club scheduler is ridiculously easy compared to the old way of doing things.